ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನ ಮನೋಹರ ಬಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ ಕಿಪಾಸಿಂಧು ವ್ಯವಶ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೀಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮುಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಘಯತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದು ಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶೆ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವರಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನದಬಾಲಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣ ಹೃದಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದ ಪಲ್ಲವನ ಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ಬಿಸ್ಫುರಿ ಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗವೋದೂಷ್ವ ದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಕರ್ಷ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರು ಕಮಲ ಹತಾಕ್ಷೌ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದುಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನೀತ ಭಾವಾನುರೂಪೇಣ ಸದ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಠಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ವ ಚಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀರ್ ತ್ವಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
एतावने बलोक उस्मिन पुंसाम धर्म पर हृता भक्ति योग भगवती तन्ना मुगुना दिवी एतावने बलोक यस्मिन पुंसाम धर्म पर हृता भक्ति योग भगवती तन्या मुगुना दिवी एतावने एतावने वोके अस्मिन पुंसाम धर्म पर हृता भक्ति योग भगवती तन्ना मुगुना दिवी गौरीय गोष्ठीपति गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट भगवान ऑल द अरेंजमेंट डन बाय भगवान आर गुड आर ऑल एब्सोल्यूट हैप्पीनेस एंड एब्सोल्यूट ब्लिस इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट दैट भगवान हैज दिस डन दिस अरेंजमेंट एंड दिस दैट अरेंजमेंट इज नॉट गुड दैट इज नॉट मंगलमय दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल एट ऑल मंगलमय भगवान एवरी अरेंजमेंट ऑफ भगवान इज ऑल हैप्पीनेस इज ऑल एटरनल हैप्पीनेस गौड़े गोष्ठी पति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती वो स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट वॉट एवर अरेंजमेंट डन बाय भगवान इज एवरी थिंग फॉर अवर एटरनल हैप्पीनेस इट्स नॉट दैट वॉट एवर अरेंजमेंट डन बाय भगवान दिस इज फॉर हेर हैप्पीनेस एंड दैट दैट अरेंजमेंट इज नॉट एट ऑल गुड फॉर अस दिस इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल बिकॉज भगवान इज 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 हैप्पीनेस हिमसेल्फ and whatever the uh, arrangement done by bhagwan whatever the kriya done by bhagwan and uh, in which uh, situation i am uh, i am here now and whatever the situation is coming in my life is all because of my karma fall and everything is good but the person cannot see that the bonded jiva cannot see that that's why he is uh, saying that it is not good but that is not at all that why how we can get uh, happiness eternal happiness and we will get uh, that eternal happiness this all bhagwan knows uh, bonded soul uh, it's his limitation that he will definitely be uh, with his limited mind be thinking because all the uh, kriya of bhagwan is all mangalmay bhagwan to have full uh, uh, sharnagati on to lotus feet of bhagwan if we don't have that the sharnagati then there will be different kind of uh, doubts inside our heart bhagwan bhagwan ke upar if we don't have if we don't have 100% confidence on the lotus feet of bhagwan on bhagwan on shri krishna then uh, one or the other way will uh, some kind of doubt will arise inside our heart there will be coming different kind of anna bilas inside our heart and uh, different kind of questions will come inside our heart where where actually there is uh, actual we have actual confidence don't have any any confidence for our own mangal where we don't have any actual confidence on to that mangal mai bhagwan we don't have that 100% shanagati on to bhagwan then there there will definitely be amangal means unhappiness will come that's why all the bonded soul actually they are just following aroho pantha that aroho pantha means that is ashrot pantha that is not following shrot pantha what is aroho pantha that is just to believe on your individual efforts that yes i will do that karta aham that is actually aroho pantha that it the other name of aroh pantha is shrot shrot pantha ashrot pantha and we know one pantha that is called shrot pantha so aroh pantha second name is ashrot pantha that with the full this ashrot pantha actually we have just uh, having confidence on our individual efforts that is aroh pantha we just have to withdraw that uh, our own pantha and we have to just uh, take up shrot pantha we have to accept shrot pantha that is important because eternal happiness is possible only in shrot pantha if uh, you want eternal happiness then it is only possible in shrot pantha otherwise there is no uh, happiness 
सो इफ वी आर जस्ट वॉन्ट अवर मंगल देन वी कैन वी हैव टू we have to what we have to do we have to inside our heart with lot of material uh, objects and desire are there so how what we have collected inside our heart or which is all material because prabhupa told that it is the behavior of all the bonded jeevas that that is the actual chronic disease that they will just collect a lot of material objects inside their heart all money land everything they just have collected it and uh, for this that actually without any without any condition they are not uh, giving it on to the lotus feet of guru pad padma it is actually uh, everything have to give uh, on to the lotus feet of guru dev with nishkam bhav without any desire if it is done then all the problems will get uh, rectified so so by this only ahetu ki kripa we will get by this just uh, by taking the prasad of guru pad padma and uh, if guru pad padma can uh, is not uh, uh, accepting us as ours up till that point we will not be getting that uh, aprakrit jagat object what it is and maya devi will not uh, 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 we will not be getting out of the uh, jackals of maya so to take the shelter of guru pad padma and not to having any confidence on guru pad padma 100% then the lot of uh, desires and material things which we have collected all this actually we will just get attracted to them and that this attraction will not uh, uh, diminish and uh, lot of money is there oh if i have so if money is not there then Uh, from where money will come i have to take money i have to uh, get money so this kind of uh, vishesh sangrah this uh, we already will disturb us and this unknown fear will just chase us so vishesh sangrah it will always be there inside our heart and uh, it, there will be no things inside and we can't uh, leave that uh, material thing from our heart so it is very important to uh, leave this vishay so if we actually uh, by we are uh, very unlucky we are just in this bhram we are just uh, having a wrong conception about this in our life that that whatever actually is there it if we just leave and then what will happen so what will happen in the last no 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 we can't leave this so if by unlucky unluckily we if we just have this thinking that uh, we have this this realization wrong realization that uh, that whatever is uh, ours actually if we leave this then what will be the last thing in the last so lot of uh, problems will be there so if if bhagwan actually is not giving us anything then then everything why will leave everything and i will leave i will uh, uh, lose everything from that side and this side also so this kind of uh, this kind of thinking actually this is actually baseless they are having niradhar because uh, the infinity brahmand uh, uh, creator that uh, that is bhagwan only and uh, the shakti of bhagwan that is so actually bhagwan shakti is actually the uh, by bhagwan shakti actually this world is created so how bhagwan can get uh, uh, like uh, on uh, one side so bhagwan cannot be uh, cannot uh, so bhagwan will not throw his sharnagat bhakt anywhere that's why vrindavan das thakur ji is uh, writing here so what, those who have just taken the ashray of bhagwan and they are doing by just taking the actual support of uh, guru vaishnav and they are just doing hari bhajan by taking guru charan without without taking any support of pure guru vaishnav 
Hari Bhajan actually is not possible. I have already told a lot of time before. So Vrindavan Das Thakur Ji is speaking here that those who haven't taken any support of Bhag- Sadguru, if if no if someone is taking support of pure Guru Vaishnava, then Bhagwan will not leave them at all. And those who haven't taken any support of pure Guru Vaishnava and they are just going on their individual efforts, then uh, they will uh, just be guided by Maya. And Bhagwan will not do anything in that because Bhagwan uh, will definite because Bhagwan is Sharanagat Vatsal. And those who are actually Sharanagat devotees, they will not. Uh, Bhagwan will not throw them at all. So, whatever abhav is there inside our heart, and whatever doubts and questions, actually everything can be solved by Bhagwan. Wherever is should the devote, pure devotees don't have any material desires and lust inside their heart, but whatever there is uh, abhav and uh, whatever is there uh, inside our uh, life, Bhagwan will just uh, do it every. Only the support which has to be given to us is that absolute support is all, always given to us by Bhagwan. So, maybe someone can take the support of some demigod as well. Maybe someone has taken uh, the support of Shankar. Some, someone has taken support of Indra. Lot of uh, stories are there inside in the uh, Mahapurana Mah- Mahapura and Upanishads as well. You can see. And... Uh, Like Banasur, uh, he is actually has taken support of Shankar Bhagwan, Banasur, and uh, and we have seen that in Bhagwan Ji Mahapuran also, when Janmi Jai has uh, was just doing the Sarpa Yagya, snake snake Yagya, but when uh, actually the, his father is just called killed by just uh, snake by the snake bite, then. Uh, I will definitely take revenge of my father killed by that snake. So what happened? He has just made a big yagya, and in that he has just made a snake yagya. In that he was just made the arrangement to kill all the snakes in that yagya. Even that takshak also, who always he has that uh, thing inside in mind to take the revenge from takshak also to take him into the fire and kill. And he is actually he is not a normal thing also. Uh, uh, he is very powerful actually they have just arranged all the arrangements for the yagya and uh, at last when the takshak is not coming uh, he is not going into the fire then the king actually was very angry and he said that why he is not coming into the fire why he is not coming takshak then uh, he is saying that that takshak has taken the support of indra he uh, has taken support of indra that's why he is not coming so you just have to throw him the fire with Indra. You have to, I will definitely kill him in the fire. With Indra you just have to. So our support can also be taken from the demigods as well. Like Banasura has taken support of Shankar. So there are a lot of uh, stories we have just heard in the Upanishad. A lot of small small stories in Upanishad as well. So... There is one Kautar. This. There is one Kautar. You. There one. Vulture. Vulture who is just staying very up in the sky. Who is always just roaming around in the sky at a very high. And he just eagle. You can say eagle. Who is just actually in between eagle actually there is one one king called Usinar. He is a big uh, uh, king and he is a very pure uh, person with uh, he is a very person who donates a lot. And uh, the king Usinar actually in order to just uh, uh, just uh, to take a test of him all the Indra and Brahma has just came there. And they are just want to test him. So in order to test that king, they have just come in the form of Kautar. Indra actually just uh, uh, came in the form of Vulture and he's just running away, Indra. And all these uh, uh, eagles and all, they are just going uh, behind this Kautar. And at the last, what happened? That uh, Kautar has just went to the lap of the Ushinar king. 
Ushinar King speaking that uh, how this Kautar has come on my life and then he said that because of uh, uh, anxiety and afraid uh, Bhava he has just uh, came to me because all the egos and vultures are coming in, uh, in back of that Kautar so that's why he has just came in my lap so what he, the king what the king has done he has sug, take, given support to that Kautar you don't worry I am there at the king speaking so who will actually will take you uh, when I am leaving, nobody actually, Kautar speaking that he's actually eating me. So please help me. So then that king speaking that no worries whether I am there. I am there. So though eagerly speaking, actually you are just taking my food. So why you are taking him? You just leave him. Actually, I am very much uh, hungry. So please give me. And the king speaking that actually he is taking support of me. So I can't give him to you. So, so if uh, someone has come in the support of something, so it is not the dharma of khatriya to just to, uh, leave that. So, so that is the dharma of a khatriya. So that the eagle, that the eagles told that. So if you have this much dharma, then okay, this kautar actually, you whatever the ujan, you you just give your uh, you actually i am very hungry so you just give your uh, uh, you just give uh, some part of your body because i am very hungry if you don't want to give kotar so you can go come maybe he has just so the king just had taken one uh, uh, one part of his flesh and has just uh, taken it on that uh, uh, that flesh on the uh, he has just taken that flesh on the uh, weighing, weighing, uh, weighing balance and after that he has just uh, uh, taken the kautar on one weighing balance and the flesh on the uh, flesh what he has cut from his own body on the other weighing balance and after cutting that what happened he has just cut all his body from his flesh and he has just made it to maintain the weight between the kautar and the flesh and so what happened and then what happened so that uh, from the Kautar, Indra Maharaj has just came and he said that I am very much uh, sorry for that. I just want to see how much Dharmic you are. He said that King, actually you are all actually Dharmic and you will get uh, relieved from all this. Your body will regain the gala. So this Takshak also has taken has support of Indra Maharaj. So Takshak has also taken support of Indra Maharaj. So whosoever is the support of someone. When... When Bali Maharaj Leela actually, when that Banasur actually has taken, uh, has done lot of uh, wrong things and he has, uh, he has done lot of adharm and after that fighting took place and what happened that all the Yadav just uh, came to Banasur and lot of uh, fighting going on between Banasur and the Yadav and when the fight was done, then Shankar Bhagwan was also uh, in the battlefield. Uh, to fight against Yadav then in the during the battlefield in during the battle in the battlefield Bhagwan Shri Krishna is also was also there and he was also doing fighting and what happened that Bhagwan Shri Krishna actually he has just uh, cut all the arms so much arms of the Banasuri he is cutting one by one and uh, uh, and all the only four arms were left of Banasur and the rest of the arms were cut by Krishna so that he can do some Aarti of some Shankar Bhagwan. That's why his four arms were left. And when he was just uh, about to die, then Shankar Bhagwan just uh, came uh, with folded hand and speaking in front of Krishna that, Oh Prabhu, actually I am the support of Banasur. I have just given support to him so that he, he will not be killed by anyone. So this uh, kind of pratigya what I have given, this will get, uh, uh, this will uh, become wrong. So then Bhagwan spoke speaking that actually he is actually not, uh, he is actually from the uh, family of Pralad Maharaj. So I won't be able to kill him. So I can't kill him because he is from the family of Pralad Maharaj. So I can't kill him at all. But the kind of false ego he has inside his heart for what that, that's why I have just uh, cut all his arms and that's why i have cut all of this remaining arm and just left with four arms and so that he can just uh, remove his false ego from his heart 
एंड इन दिस वे ही कैन स्टिल सो इन दिस वे ऑल द शरणागत भगवान इज टेकिंग गिविंग अ सपोर्ट टू द डिवोटिस एंड दोज हु आर जस्ट टेकिंग सपोर्ट ऑफ डेमी गॉड्स वेर एवर यू विल गो दे विल जस्ट दिस सपोर्ट विल इज नॉट एक्चुअली अ परमानेंट सपोर्ट एट ऑल दिस इज नॉट अ परमानेंट सपोर्ट वैन शंकर भगवान एक्चुअली इज इन ट्रबल वैन दैट वॉट्स इज नेम दैट असुर शकुनी नंदन असुर दिस असुर एक्चुअली हैज जस्ट He has just created such a situation that uh, Shankar Bhagwan actually was running like anything every, here and there, everywhere. And what time at at and at the end what happened? He has just taken support of Bhagwan and he said uh, in Batu Brahman in small Brahman fish he has just came in. Hey Shakuni Nandar, why you are running? I don't have any time actually. Are you just hear me? You have such nice, beautiful body. You are actually just uh, full of sweat. Why are you running like this? then you uh, maharaj actually don't ask me actually he has just given me one uh, var that uh, whosoever i will just uh, put the hand on any one that will uh, die and uh, he is uh, just uh, this shankar already running like this so that he can't die actually he is just uh, that uh, he is actually shankar is uh, living in crematorium ground is foolish number 1 uh, he is actually all ghost and everything is his own man only he is just speaking lie can he give any support to anyone no 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 this is all lie so actually your hand is in your own hands so why you are just running for him you can just try it you can just try to put your hand on your head only and you can test it whether he has spoken it uh, truly or wrongly then uh, you can just understand then he what he done that he has done just uh, taken his hand on his head and he just got killed that shakuni nandan so in this way that vrikasur <coughs> was killed and uh, he has just uh, and bhagwan has uh, given support to shankar so so the total brahmand <coughs> malik that uh, he will why we have don't have any confidence he will not give us support at all this kind of uh, uh, non confidence is not at all good so in this way i am just coming into the th- third number shloka now this third shloka what i we will be actually discussing <coughs> what is it was there actually that how bhagwan we can do we have to do bhakti of bhagwan which is anukulya that that sangat yagat is there do sang i have already done the explanation of do sang <coughs> that we we don't have any confidence on bhagwan don't have not feeling uh, onastik mayavadi <coughs> yashit sanghi means <coughs> yashit sanghi sanghi those who are associating of this yashit sanghi kamin kamini yashit kanchan yashit all this will come in yashit sang so this kind of sang we have to leave quit and we have to just accept sat sang sat vritti we have to just take the acharan of sadhu and uh, acharan of pure vaishnav and kriya karam of all the pure vaishnav we have to accept in our life prabhupada have told lot of times also that we, to leave a satsang means that definitely we have to accept satsang to leave a satsang definitely we have to accept satsang that is uh, definitely a point this is natural point so if someone is actually he has quit a satsang and he has not uh, allowed to accept satsang then definitely there is some kind of problem that can't be possible at all because a satsang to to leave a satsang means to accept satsang <coughs> then why he has just accept satsang so asat means that is anitya which is temporary which is uh, not at all permanent so just need to <coughs> leave that uh, uh, satsang means to just uh, Uh, except those which is permanent which is absolute truth so all this kind of six uh, vishay i have told that is actually all anukulya uh, which are all good for bhakti that by the by the grace of krishna we rup go swami has told this and now previously we have just discussed this we have what is sangatyag what is adharmik sat uh, sraini 
Yashit Sanghi, everything, Pratishta and whatever I have just already told it and everything Mayavadi, Nirishwarvadi, <coughs> Dharmadvaji, those who are just taking the flag of Dharma in their hand but they are not actually uh, but they are not actually following anything they don't follow anything <coughs> and in reverse I have already told that these adharmic vyakti are not following dharma they are in the vyasasan just doing pravachan giving pravachan and and those those who are not tyagi who are not in the renounced order they are just making drama of renounced order they are just doing madhukari just just uh, taking madhukari bhiksha that is not at all good that is uh, strictly prohibited this actually all this all uh, actually are uh, identified by sangha tyagat they are all actually identified by sangha tyagat <coughs> and Satyavriti man, we have to just uh, accept the Sadachar Anushtan ach- Acharan of, sus- of a pure Vaishnav because this Sadachar is very powerful. This is, I have already told previously that this Acharan, the Acharan is so powerful that all those Acharan Shil Vyakti, if they are not speaking anything about Absolute Truth, just, just by their Acharan, that is so powerful that this acher, this uh, will definitely go in all four directions. The power of this acharan is so much that anyone can be get transformed. Anyone's life can be transformed very easily. So this is the actual power of uh, is just the power is just la- of acharan is just like a um, lightning, thunder, which can't be seen outside. So all whatever the acharan, the characteristic qualities of a sadhu, this is actually all being. Uh, uh, all being uh, recognized by Satya Vritti. and if you just go by that then b- only by Acharan there is only one meaning one complete meaning is there that Acharan there is an inner meaning of this Acharan word that that the Bhakti which is there inside is half Acharan means Bhakti that is Bhakti that is for Bhakti of Bhagwan. so Acharan means Bhakti here bhak- in Bhakti Samaj we are speaking it has meaning, num- inner meaning that uh, those, whatever the Kriya Karam of that Sadhu, sitting, walking, eating, whatever, sleeping, Shravan, whatever remembrance is there. It is not, it is Bhakti and there is only link with Bhakti. Apart from that, there is no link. So, whatever the Acharan of uh, Sadhu Guru Vaishnav is, that is Bhakti in one word. Bhakti means action. So that is uh, Kriya Karam, his, uh, his uh, action is only Bhakti. So all those uh, pure Guru Vaishnav, they are so powerful, they have so powerful Acharan, that in front of uh, them, no Kapat Vyakti can stand in front of their, them at all. Because uh, Kapat Vyakti don't want the association of a pure Vaishnav. Because Kapat Vyakti all the time actually, he is actually... He just want to stay far away from these uh, pure Guru Vaishnav. These uh, Kapat Vyakti always want, to, uh, always thinking that uh, this is actually disgusting. Same thing they are just speaking, same and same. I am feeling very bored. So this Kapat Vyakti is thinking all the time. This is the actual characteristic of Kapat Lakti, Kapat Vyakti. So all these Kapat Vyakti, those, those who don't have any Acharan, those who don't have any... Uh, very difficult they can just speak only two to four words very difficult with very difficulty <laughs> because they don't because it is very dangerous for him very troubleful for him to follow the actual acharan and the acharan shin sadhu no person can stand in his way and some shraddha was there some positive mood has uh, is there inside him then definitely he will get eternal blissfulness and happiness for him it is not at all possible that uh, I have just came in front of a Acharan Shil Sadhu and uh, I am not getting uh, happiness, eternal happiness. So that's why I have already spoken. You must have, uh, uh, you can remember this. That from the Narad Bhakti Shostra, I have just already told that. All this I have already told from Narad Bhakti Shostra. 
दैट नॉट लाइक दिस बट ऑल्सो आई है इट इज रिटर्न देयर ऑल दिस एक्चुअली इज अ फॉर्मूला बाय दिस वी विल डेफिनेटली बी गेटिंग द महत संघ बाय अवर ओन इंडिविजुअल एफर्ट्स वी कॉन्ट गेट साधु संघ एट ऑल दिस इज एक्चुअली ऑल बींग डिस्कवर्ड बाय दिस नारद भक्ति सूत्र एंड इफ सत्संग इज हैज डन एंड देयर इज नो रिजल्ट इज देयर इट कॉन्ट बी पॉसिबल एट ऑल साधु संघ इज इन फैलेबल इट कैन नॉट वेंट इन वेन एंड एंड इट इज ऑल इंटर रिलेटेड टू इच अदर दैट सत्संग एक्चुअली इज जस्ट बाय द मर्सी ऑफ कृष्णा वी कैन गेट विदाउट द मर्सी ऑफ कृष्णा वी कॉन्ट गेट सत्संग दैट ऑलरेडी तुलसीदास जी महाराज टोल्ड इफ विल गेट सत्संग देन डेफिनेटली यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट भगवान इज वेरी हैप्पी विद मी दैट्स वाई ही हैज जस्ट सेंड हिज ओन मैसेंजर टू मी एंड वी कैन ऑलवेज अंडरस्टैंड दिस दैट दैट भगवान एंड डिवोटी देर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम द डिवोटीज एंड भगवान वॉट एवर द विचार इज देयर द थिंकिंग इज देयर देर इज नो नॉट एट ऑल एनी डिफरेंस बिकॉज द भगवान इज ऑलवेज देयर इन द हार्ट ऑफ डिवोटी एंड डिवोटी इज ऑलवेज देयर इन हार्ट ऑफ भगवान एंड भगवान कैन नॉट स्टे अवे बाई जस्ट लिविंग डिवोटी so that is called bhed ka bhav that is abhed that uh, if someone actually he has just uh, want to just remember bhagavat tat vichar he just want to remember bhagavat tat vichar just want to speak that then all those pure guru vaishnav we just want to cut that and leave them then bhagavat tat will remain incomplete that all the name parikar vishisht dham everything actually with all bhagwan just has uh, uh, taken avatar and all the shastra has also spoken they said yes you have to do this so that you can get actual vaishnav in your life that is the only way that is the only sadhan that is the actual sadhan then only so all the sadhan will become uh, false that is to get sadhu sang that is the actual thing that is the actual thing what what do you do, what do you do by sadhan that to just do the association of pure guru vaishnav that is the actual thing so just uh, do shravan of hari katha to just take the acharan of that sadhu and just to, to see how he is walking eating sleeping so all this we have to see of a pure vaishnav that we have to learn so sang tyagat have already spoken to you that is a very in depth analysis is there so how for how far i can just speak and satavritti i have just uh, given the vyakhya of this and uh, satavritti so by satavritti everything all those whatever the pathway given by pure guru vaishnav just we have to follow that we have to follow that and we have to do uh, we have to follow them and just need to run our life maintain our life according to that and grihatyagi who i have already taken renounced order they are grihatyagi those who have just uh, renounced uh, their life uh, their house in actual for them there is a arrangement of bhiksha that they can just uh, that is they can do madhukari bhiksha for renounced order people only they are there is actually acceptance of this bhiksha madhukari bhiksha that he can just accept madhukari bhiksha from outside but from a pure source shudra pratikvesh shanti tapavesho hujivinah dhyan se sunna just be uh, careful about this about the glorification of bhagwat ji mahapran shanti tapavesho hujivinah mane that all those shudras those who are not at all sadhu they what they are doing they are actually they are taking kambal all clothes and land property money all they are taking but 
in the shastra it is written that uh, whatever you are taking any donation from someone you will just be killed by burning yourself if you if there is no desire at all inside your heart of regarding money and property and land whatever if you can have things standing on neutral platform if you can stand on the neutral platform you are just taking the donation standing on the neutral platform and there is no attraction inside your heart maybe you are lakhs of rupees you are getting still you don't have any uh, thinking of that money i have already seen that that in in from someone from outside has come to gurudev and he used to give a lot of money to gurudev actually gurudev speaking what it is actually maharaj actually you can just uh, touch this money okay gurudev just used to touch that money so i have already seen that i have actually seen that i i have in in one sampradaya i just went to varanasi it's like 25 years before i just went to varanasi and uh, there is one sampradaya i have this nakki ghat was there so i was just uh, one sadhu just uh, told me and he just uh, stay there for one two days there is one p- very good vaishnav he is not from our sampradaya but he is a good uh, sadhu so you will go and uh, you will feel good his name is his name is ramayani baba actually when i went to ramayani baba i just went to meet him when i met him then uh, when i just met him afterwards he just shown me so much love and affection and just giving me all the clothes he is a mahant but i am very small person and he is giving me clothes and i told him no no actually maharaj i don't want no no you have to take i used to he just used to give me pranami and in front of my eyes i have seen that one person has come and uh, he has just taken uh, donation of 5 lakh rupees and he is speaking to baba that baba you can just take it baba actually what is this inside it actually it is uh, money is there then ma ba- baba actually just taking uh, that uh, just uh, touching that uh, uh, peti and just giving it back to him and not seeing the at all so this is actually natural for uh, uh, sadhu but actually gurudev always used to speak that all just to take the chapati of brajwasi is very very uh, difficult to take and after if you take that chapati and after that you can't do bhajan then definitely he has to become a dog in front of his gate and he has to Uh, give it back to him so that's why madhukari is not that easy that you can just take two three chapati then after the ha he just you can joke so that is in the glorification of mahavaji mahaprabhu it is written that in this kalikal that is the actual face of kalikal what i am actually telling you that is the actual face of kalikal i actually it is showing here so lot of things are there very beautiful things are there so bhakti vinod thakur ji has actually told this that uh, that in the uh, summary of this uh, uh, shloka that grah tyagi who are renounced order uh, life they actually can do madhukari bhiksha they have the right but those who are actually grahi who are not in the renounced order who are actually grahasth those grahas people actually they if they will uh, do if that uh, if they will do they are nishkinchan if those grahas people are nishkinchan and there is sanyas inside their heart 100% externally he is a grahas but uh, there is a 100% sanyas vrat inside his heart if it is there then definitely there is no problem for him he can just uh, not be going for any doing job because everything arrangement is done by bhagwan like shri vas pandit has not done any kind of job but still bhagwan has just uh, uh, one time he was uh, bhagwan actually joking with shri vas pandit shri vas pandit actually he, bhagwan asking that actually you don't have any uh, job or something and business of yours so how actually everything is going on then if something sometimes nothing will uh, be given to you like what you will do then then shri you are actually in your household life and you don't have any job to do so what you will do then shri was actually speaking that okay one two three mahapro speaking that what do you mean by one two three one two three means then he said that uh, it means that the uh, first day i will see 
second day i will see third day will i see and after th- if krishna will not uh, give us give me for 3 days then i will just go into the ganga and i will jump into ganga then mahaprabhu actually uh, uh, laughing like and and you speaking that she was if the lakshmi also if lakshmi ji also have to do bhiksha then you don't have to do any bhiksha mahaprabhu told there are a lot of examples actually there are a lot of grahas also but inside their heart there is total uh, sanyas full nishkinchan they have i have already seen that that how they are actually maintaining their life Oof, very difficult i have already seen it practically how they are just maintaining their life but there is no actually no no income how actually everything is going on krishna knows actually in mathura also <coughs> at holy gate from holy gate if you will go inside holy gate there is one choti lal sadhu i have just one just sadhu came with me he has just uh, taken me there in some uh, kind of things i want to discuss so i went there his name is this manohar das ji he is actually pandit and he is a grahasth grahasth he has a son or daughter i don't know i haven't seen but when i went to his house and for 10 to 10:30 am i just went to his chote lal and me just went there and after right we when we actually he was in the temple of krishna and both the both uh, wife and uh, husband they were just just doing hari naam in the chap mala and when we just uh, actually went uh, went to meet him then actually i was saying that his naam sankhya was not complete so that's why he couldn't be able to speak to me and he said that actually you just wait for some time uh, already my jap naam is going to over i have actually seen that there is actually no no thinking of uh, what to eat what not to eat he was just doing naam sankirtan all the time from day to night i was very much uh, surprised to see actually he is grasped how actually is going everything who actually is giving him who is coming actually just by kripa of krishna everything is done so you see so he is actually in grasthi but actually has take has uh, that sanyas dharm is already 100% there inside his heart so those who are already i have already spoken about sanyas that do are 100% nishkinchan in their life those who do, don't have any desire material desire inside their heart that they don't have any desire inside their heart and those who don't have any uh, any fighting mood with them whether that person is going to kill you still that fighting mood is not there inside his heart that is the actual characteristic of sanyas symptom of sanyas those who have already given all their life for the service of bhagwan <laughs> so for him it is possible so all those grahatyagi vyakti those who are in renounced order i have in that already told in the glorification of shri maji bhagwati mahapra that is the actual face of kalikal the naked picture of kalikal who what is that that uh, it is written there maharaj that shudraha pratik gahishvanti tapavesho pujivina aamne pehle that i have already uh, two to three days back i have told that dharma nyaya vyavasthayam karanam balame vahi kya dharma hai that what is dharm and what is adharm what is nyaya what is anyaya in this uh, vishay there is money power by money power by man power by educational power political power that is all failure <coughs> that is actual face of kalikal there is no room for uh, truth but still there is why because krishna is giving value to that but there it is written लोग व्यवहार एक्चुअली दैट इज एक्चुअली माया माए दो जस्ट विदाउट माया देर दो मनी वॉन्ट्स टू गेट रिलेशनशिप ऑफ लव विद एनी वन ऑल जस्ट वॉन्ट्स टू बिकम माया माए इट्स ऑलरेडी रिटर्न देयर 
कारणम बलमेव ही दंपत्य अभिरुचि मायैव व्यवहारिके हैं और हम ब्राह्मण हैं दैट आई एम ब्राह्मण तो व्हाई वेर इज़ द सिम्टम यू सी माय जनियो इज़ देर विप्रत्य शूत्र में वही विप्रत्य that you see, I am Brahman. You can see that I have that genuine, you know, so I am Brahman. So this kind of things are going on. So in the summary, actually, we Bhakti Nath Thakur has written this in the Tippani in the uh, in Anubriti that according to your Varna and Ashram and with the Sammat and according to your Varna and Ashram, in uh, you have to just uh, keep it in front because those absolute Bhakt when he become the Param Bhakt or absolute Bhakt, but in general, actually Bhakti Nath Thakur speaking. Who has already gone into the absolute uh, situation? I have already told you one story that is a different thing. But those bhakt who devotees, those uh, grasth devotee who has actually not up to, gone up to that level, for those grasth devotee, so varna ashram. That according to your varna and ashram, and according to your sanskar, and according to your uh, swabhav, uh, whatever actually the vidhi is. You just need to go according to that, and he just has to maintain his life and just collect money according to that, so that no dosha dosh should come in their life. If uh, if swam shudra is going to do the uh, work of a pujari, then it is not good at all because we can't uh, uh, take the adhikar of the brahman. So those paramans uh, people actually who has actually. Those who are grasthi but still living, uh, having a paraman savastha, uh, so that is a different uh, kind of uh, situation and which are. This is already there. But those grahi, those who are in the grasth ashram, who is the grasth vaishnav, grasth 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 devotee for grasth devotee, it is uh, written. That uh, that whatever swa varna and ashram, according to the vidhi, they have to follow that. They have to just take the sukla vritti, that white money they have to take, so that there there should be no dosh, because sukla vritti is the topmost thing. That in the bhandara also, if he has to do, then with you with careful and attentive mood you have to go. From which money that bhandara is going on? Otherwise you will die. With which money that bhand arrangement of bhandara is done? If the with the black money the arrangement is done, then whosoever will take that he will go. Definitely he will die. There is no not at all any no doubt about this. No no one can do anything. He will definitely die. In the Vrindavan also, वो दो जो साधु साधु वैष्णव आर देर देर इज वन स्टोरी इट इज इन द भक्तमाल ऑल्सो दैट हरिदास जी देर इज वन साधु देयर एक्चुअली दैट प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली हैज टोल्ड दैट भक्तमाल इज नॉट एट ऑल ऑथेंटिक प्रभुपाद स्पीकिंग दैट इज नॉट एट ऑल ऑथेंटिक विच इज देर इन द मार्केट That Nabaji is Bhaktamal. Everyone is just reading, but Prabhupada speaking that that is from top to bottom. It is not authentic, authentic because there is some um, mixing. So there is one story there that uh, in Vrindavan all the sadhu Vaishnav actually they are jo doing lot of bhajan in uh, uh, alone silently. And one time what happened? He they were just called for one bhandara. And in the Govind, in the Govind Dev Temple, and they said that actually, in the temple of Govind Dev Temple, Bhandara is there. Okay, we should go definitely there. So they actually just went there, and they just taken some prasadam there. And after that, Maharaj what to speak? In the night time, actually, his bhajan just got destroyed. They were just just started crying. Oh, Prabhu, what happened? In our dream also, we haven't think that how it has come in the dream. Oh, oh, oh. Then why they have come? They were just started crying. They just started fasting, and in the dream, uh, Krishna came and said, "Actually, I all all have to just uh, I have to save everyone, no? So whatever money you have, 
Bhandara you have taken from that money actually it is just given by a pros so one prostitute has given all his left all his money and you have just taken the uh, the Bhandara from that money only why you have taken that prasadam you must have taken one tulsi from that that's it why you have taken the prasadam so i also have to balance no everything i have to balance the power of one sadhu i have to give it to the grass devotee and from the grass devotee i will give it to so like this i have to balance so that they can get uh, eternal happiness so in this way everything is going on so so all those uh, uh, grahast devotees actually according to their swa varna ashram they have to just follow the shukla vritti and like the those who are in the have a swabhava brahman they actually they are just taking a reverse vritti then that will not be uh, good for them useful for them and and in the marmanuvad in the marmanuvad kirtan bhaktam na bhakti mein thakur has done in the bengali kirtan if you will just hear you can just understand like this this kirtan is there oh uh, give me some utsah in the bhajan and always full confidence in the bhakti and in order to get prema uh, you just give me patience and whatever is anukul you for bhakt i just have to uptake those karma ठीक है ओके एंड आई हैव टू जस्ट लीव असत सिंह एंड व्हाट एवर द सदाचार ऑफ भक्ति ऑल दी सिक्स काइंड्स ऑफ सदाचार आई हैव टू जस्ट फॉलो दिस इन माय लाइफ आई हैवंट नथिंग हैज डन इन माय लाइफ अप टिल नाउ ठाकुर जी सो ऑल दिस भक्ति सदाकार ऑल दी सिक्स क्वालिटीज ऑफ द भक्ति सदाचार दीज आर नॉट देयर इनसाइड माय हार्ट ओ कृष्ण इट हैज नॉट कम इनसाइड माय सो हाउ आई कैन डू माय डू योर भजन that uh, to just uh, quit the to quit the to quit the association of maya how can i do your bhajan because all these six kind of uh, bhakti anukul uh, arrangements you have done actually i haven't uh, it hasn't come in my life so how can i do bhajan oh prabhu how can i do bhajan so all this nishiddha achar which are not at all good which we have to live garhit means do do the nishiddha char actually i am actually taking lot of uh, advantage and i'm always uh, going into that all the time i am only all the time swimming in in that i am done not a single sadhu sang at any time and not done any association of sadhu and there is no desire to do sadhu sang in my heart and uh, i have just taken a wish of sadhu i have not done any uh, sadhu association nothing i have done you can say uh, my diksha is also not fixed not permanent garhi to achare rahila maji na kurinu sadhu sang main jo nishiddha achare whatever nishiddha achare is there i am already busy in that all the time and uh, my sadhu sangin uh, is not at all possible i have taken the wish of sadhu externally but i have taken the wish of sadhu externally but there is no acharan there is no acharan at all and i am just giving updesh to others because i have that wish that's why i am giving updesh to others i have that sadhu wish externally na so i am not uh, following any other acharan of the sadhu internally but i am actually doing updesh to others that is actually a topmost plotting of maya that is a topmost color of maya so this kind of condition painful condition is mine that if you just be merciful on me then you can only uh, uh, just get uh, out me out of this condition so in this situation when i will get your ahitoki kripa on uh, 
me you will do your ahe to krip on me so that i can get i can get the shri guru charan on my head and i will be just calling you with full prem when that day will come when i will be doing uh, shri guru ashray <coughs> and just be calling you and by heart i will be just uh, uh, calling you oh prabhu please save me shila bhakti mein thakur has just uh, has just uh, written one bhashya also that is very important prabhupad has already written that is very very important saraswati ko swami thakur has uh, written that bhajan in utsav bhajan is always there internally utsah is there of bhajan but externally is not there that can't be possible but in utsah there in bhajan those persons who have utsah in the bhajan externally internally both then it is actually bhajan it means that those who have utsah in the bhajan internally and externally both then that is very rare and he is getting that rarest of rarest krishna bhakti definitely he will get that shudurlok krishna bhakti paabe mane paega definitely he will get slowly steadily those who in their life actually krishna they have a full confidence uh, uh, in krishna bhakti that with krishna bhakti everything will be will be getting in our life that kind of confidence they have then definitely then they are those who are actually 100% confidence in krishna bhakti and they are shraddha shraddha van vyakti definitely they are actually bhakti man people they are actually bhakti van in uh, actual krishna seva na paiya dhir bhave je bhakti se sadhan kare bhakti man se in his in his life though there is actually do, don't have don't got any nitya seva in their life krishna seva then with full patience they actually have to take the support of bhakti sadhan and slowly steadily today or tomorrow definitely krishna will definitely accept me maybe today or tomorrow definitely maybe tomorrow maybe day after tomorrow definitely krishna will accept me definitely will accept me like the case of mukund i have already told that day that mukund actually is not called up by uh, thakur ji and uh, thakur ji actually not giving that prema bhakti to mukund that i will not give prema to mukund what, what happened actually Pra- prabhu why you are not giving it to mukund actually wherever he is going to the sansar he is actually he is just mixing with them that's why i will not give him prema at all then all the devotees actually just take on the lotus feet of mahaprabhu and speaking then mukund is doing lot of seva of yours and you should do kripa on him okay actually after one crore millions of years he will after one million years he will just get kripa after that actually mukund in his uh, angan he is just uh, with the, all his clothes out he is just dancing and why he is actually dancing prabhu is asking actually you have spoken no that after 1 million years he will definitely you will accept him so he has so much confidence in me okay okay you just ask call him actually he is all 1 million uh, years are all done in one fraction of second so so he has not got krishna seva up till now but with full patience he, he is already in that uh, sadhana bhakti all the time and he is in the seva of pure guru vishnu all the time that is called bhakti that is actually bhakti man that person is actually bhakti man. where there is all seva of pure guru vishnu and krishna all the time in that uh, kriya there is satisfaction satisfaction of krishna and without any questions he is actually always always uh, busy in that if krishna is satisfied okay then everything is done so oh, here it is written that in which we when we can get krishna seva and when krishna can get satisfied in that karma actually all the time i have to get busy he has that uh, he don't get angry at all that detail information i have already told you by the kripa of krishna before 
those who are non-devotees of Krishna. I have already told that Sangatyagat. So, so all the time actually he is doing association of devotees because to quit a satsang means to accept satsang so that uh, one krishna bhakta whatever acharan he is doing he is walking sitting seeing everything is there whatever he is doing he we have to just do anusaran we have to remember that and we have to just take up that acharan in our life and we have whatever the pathway given by our all the <coughs> whatever the pathway shown by our pure guru vaishnav they are just following that so whatever the krishna devotee is doing we have to just uh, follow that pathway and we have to do that uh, acharan and our whole life so these kind of six persons actually Prabhupada speaking these kind of six types of persons whatever the symptoms i have told you they will definitely they will do their mangal of their own but definitely they will do the mangal of others as well so all these six uh, types of six types of uh, uh, symptoms i have told that is uh, those who have just got the adhikar of bhakti and they will definitely do the uh, give eternal happiness to rest of the world as well it means that Prabhupada actually speaking is so clever and smart that those who are actually what are the symptoms of a preacher already Prabhupada had told so smartly Prabhupada actually is handling this thing that what are the characteristics and symptoms of a preacher who can go and preach and only these people can go and preach uh, about the Krishna Dharma about the Krishna Bhakti they can only preach about that Bhagavad Dharma so whatever what Gita Krishna has just told in Gita that Krishna speaking so you don't don't give this updesh to anyone okay you just give it to that only not to everyone so Prabhupada also have told this so these kind of six symptoms whatever is there inside them inside anyone then definitely you can give it to them then they are actually our bhakti adhikari they are the adhikari of bhakti so these six kind of types of symptoms so whatsoever are there in one person then definitely he will just do his mangal as well as he will do the mangal of the whole world so he can go in preaching as well so every person uh, to go in preaching that is not at all uh, that is totally prohibited by Prabhupada so gyan karma and in anuvritti also in the anuvritti what Prabhupada told uh, in the, in the Anuvrati Prabhupada has told that Gyan, Karma or Anya, Anya Vilas, whatever actually all the Sadhan, Vidhan, whatever there is written, all the Sadhan, these are all Ruchi Prada Vishay. So, Gyan, Karma, Anya Vilas, so, those who are actually having are getting that taste what they are just whatever taste well prescription is uh, given in the pathway of karmakand gyan vilas anya vilas that very tasteful chutney they uh, it is uh, given those who are just getting into that taste uh, by just uh, seeing that lucrative offer when they are just getting uh, feeling taste in this material uh, material uh, <coughs> and they are just showing a lot of attraction toward this material things so these are all kind of material uh, things are all lucrative offers these all kind of lucrative offers actually he is showing more taste towards them more attraction towards them so all these mayavadi anya vilasi actually whatever the pathway they are showing to the others that we have to which it actually looks externally very tasteful so all different kind of material object material things actually he is actually just going to just take that so when he is just busy in all this 
just getting out of that and just getting uh, out from all this and he's just uh, following the bhakti sadhan pathway that is called utsaha so utsaha means that inside that there is something inside is hard to do one effort that tremendous effort is there to do something for bhakti that is called utsaha and externally mechanically he is actually don't want to he is actually showing something but inside there is no support inside his heart there is no prema for that then definitely it is not utsaha that will not be called utsaha at all so you see can see when you are doing durga puja so that uh, the mode of goodness actually what they got while doing the durga puja and you you as see can see a oh, lot of utsaha was there in durga puja lot of pandal and just going for taking dal and lot of money from others is a foolish number one because there is material advantage in that and if so they will ask to do hari bhajan oh maharaj i can't do so that is not possible for me so this kind of utsaha they are showing actually in durga puja that is not actual utsaha that actually according to our vichar it is not coming this kind of utsaha so the utsaha in which it which is connected with hari bhajan that is in that utsaha externally there is utsaha but internally there is some kind of prema some attachment there is some kind of attachment that is why that is called effective utsaha uh, externally there can be lot of people who are karmi in the math also they can done externally they have done a lot but at the last time fallen condition lot of things have done prabhupad has done, already told prabhupad actually just crying i will just speak it tomorrow prabhupad actually crying so much you have done sarnagati kirtan so much you have done kirtan of man shiksha and kalan karpatru and ho oh, so but where it has gone now so so this kind of vichar we have to understand so to all the world whatever the for the whole world in the, in in which vishay in which kind of vishay all the people of this material world they don't have any um, uh, thinking of what is going on they don't want anything they just want to sleep oh okay no worries what will happen and they are actually equal to nisha in the night time when every everyone is uh, sleeping in the night time in the same t- in the same uh, in the at the same time in the same manner this uh, material p- person is always uh, just uh, sleeping in the uh, aprakrit vishay he don't have any kind of atma chintan he is always distressful in atma chintan but uh, uh, that was pos- he is always uh, careful and attentive in profit and loss account but all the sadhus actually just uh, remain quiet and always became careful and attentive in uh, aprakrit vishay so those actually uh, those material people uh, they are showing utsah in that and that they are just feeling successful in that uh, material thing particular thing in that uh, all the sadhus are very careful because they don't that it is not their work so bhagavat bhakti it is the the top most purushartha of our life dharma arth kaam moksha and chatur varg and chatur purushartha but what is the actual purushartha that is called bhagavat bhakti that is the actual life of all the jeevas that is the top most purushartha in the life of the bonded jeevas all the jeevas in this when you have that full confidence and all gyan karma and anya vilas whatever is there that you just need to uh, leave that that you just have uh, confidence that all those mayavadis and karma uh, there is no mangal at all in that pathway just to have this kind of confidence firm confidence that bhagavad bhakti is everything 
सो ओनली द भक्ति मार्ग ओनली द पाथवे ऑफ भक्ति इज द टॉप मोस्ट पाथवे दैट दिस भक्ति मार्ग फॉर इज फॉर एवरी जीवा इज वेरी यूजफुल फॉर एवरी जीवा एंड इज द टॉप मोस्ट एटरनल हैप्पीनेस एंड ब्लिसफुल वन जीवा विल गेट एंड टू गेट दैट फुल कॉन्फिडेंस फुल कॉन्फिडेंस इन दैट भावा दैट इज कॉल्ड निश्चय एंड जस्ट टू गो इन द ज्ञान कर्म एंड मायावादी एंड अन्या बिलास आदि एक्सेट्रा ऑल दिज मार्ग ऑल दिस पाथवेज दे विल जस्ट मेक जीव अनस्टेबल दे विल जस्ट मेक जीव अज अनस्टेबल एंड दे विल जस्ट मेक एंगजाइटी इन द हार्ट ऑफ द जीवा एंड ओनली द भक्ति पाथवे इज द टॉप मोस्ट प्योर पाथवे दैट द जीवा हैज टू फॉलो which is not which is the topmost stable uh, pathway for all the jeevas that is the stable pathway so this way we have to have full confidence and with stable and peaceful mind we have to go in that way we just need to have faith in that so the bhakti pathway uh, nobody will uh, will get disadvantage from bhakti pathway and and nobody will get a mangal at all in the pathway of bhakti that kind of firm faith and confidence that is called dhairya je je aravindo aksha vimukta manina ha to yast bhavat avishuddha buddhayo arujya kritchena param padam tataha padan he patanti adho anadrit jusmat angrayo e sab hai so this all is there je vyakti so that that person ho arvindanath ho arvind akshay ओ प्रभु दैट पर्सन दैट पद्म पलाश लोचन हरि दोज एक्चुअली हु आर ऑलवेज थिंकिंग दैट आई एम ऑलवेज ऑन द मुक्त आई एम ऑलरेडी आई एम ऑलरेडी फ्री फ्रॉम माया दोज हु आर एक्चुअली क्राइंग लाइक दिस ओ अरविंद नाथ ओ कमल ओ पद्म पलाश लोचन श्री हरि दोज हु आर एक्चुअली ऑलवेज हैव दिस फॉल्स ही गो दैट दे आर फ्री ऑफ माया and they are just crying externally then they don't and they don't have any prema for you and no bhava for you for you no connection with you then their uh, actual their mind is actually faulty their mind is not good at all their mind is faulty there is buddhi is not pure and with a lot of uh, lot of uh, uh, efforts they are just uh, going here they are just we have got brahm but still they are just uh, moving higher and higher unstable with instability in their mind but still thinking that they are just uh, on the right pathway and then they just uh, come into the fallen state and then they are they are just uh, disregarding disrespecting your uh, lotus feet because of that they just again go goes into the fallen condition so there are actually lot of shlokas regarding this so this kind of shloka is there jaise like haridas thakur is speaking jaise haridas thakur haridas thakur actually speaking that you can just uh, cut into pieces just by uh, uh, just by uh, you, you can just cut me into pieces by just uh, uh, breaking me into pieces this this you can just uh, this body actually you can cut it into pieces but i am not afraid at all but still i will not leave harinam at all because i know that harinam is the top most the harinam is the support of all so in this way that sh- shuddha bhakti mark in the in the way of shuddha bhakti vimukshu vimukshu bhukshu and all karma kandi mayavadi gyani all these actually they are uh, following their own pathway whosoever are there they are actually just we need to understand what all are their uh, arrangements and uh, you just be uh, remain unhappy with them and just and just be busy with your uh, sadhana bhakti just go forward with in the sadhana bhakti 
एंड वॉट एवर द रिलेशनशिप विद भगवान इज देयर एंड विद भक्ति यू शुड हैव दैट कनेक्शन ऑल ऑल द टाइम एंड यू शुड हैव देर आर काइंड ऑफ थ्री काइंड ऑफ अधिकार फॉर डिवोटिस देर इज नॉट द थिंग दैट वन अधिकार विल बी देयर फॉर एवरी डिवोटी देर आर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कैटेगरीज फॉर डिफरेंट डिवोटी देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ भेद फॉर द डिफरेंट थ्री डिवोटिस कैन बी कनिष्ठ अधिकारी मध्यम अधिकारी एंड उत्तम अधिकारी एंड कनिष्ठ अधिकारी हैज थ्री कैटेगरीज दैट फर्स्ट इज कनिष्ठ अधिकारी सेकेंड इज मध्यम अधिकारी कनिष्ठ अधिकारी एंड उत्तम कनिष्ठ अधिकारी एंड देन मध्यम इन द मध्यम कैटेगरी मध्यम कनिष्ठ मध्यम मध्यम एंड मध्यम उत्तम अधिकारी सो देर इज प्राथमिक मध्यम अधिकारी मध्यम मध्य मध्य अधिकारी एंड द उत्तम टॉप मोस्ट मध्यम अधिकारी सो दीज आर द कैटेगरीज एंड फॉर द उत्तम ऑल्सो देर आर दे ऑल्सो हैव उत्तम परमहंस दे हैव द कैटेगरी देर फर्स्ट कैटेगरी फॉर उत्तम अधिकारी इज नंबर वन इज प्राथमिक उत्तम अधिकारी देन माध्यमिक उत्तम अधिकारी एंड द थर्ड वन एम इज उत्तम 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 अधिकारी सो ऑल थ्री कैटेगरीज आर देयर फॉर दिस we will discuss so in this all this just in all the material things in gyani or karmamula so we just need to remain unhappy with them and we just need to uh, just uh, uh, from far side for far distance we have to just uh, uh, we just have to avoid their association and uh, just need to take the association of the devotees babaji ne pehle prabhupad already told this uh, before also that to to just uh, leave a satsang means to just take the good association if you are just taking bad associ leaving bad association and you don't have the uh, bhava to take a good association then there is some problem bhakto sangi ko the bhakt sangi those who are taking the association of the devotees do those people those who are just doing uh, association of bhakt those who are devotees so these devotees actually they are actually always getting gyani karmi they actually are not at all respecting them at all whenever you went to the Ma- mayavadi belt haridwar Maya varanasi i have already seen that that very surprised to see lo big tyagi he was renounced order and he actually is doing lot of austerity penances and he is actually just uh, uh, doing upasana of brahm i have seen that that he is actually thinking himself of a very big renounced person and uh, to all the devotees he is actually not all the devotees actually uh, uh, those abhakt actually karmi mayavadi they don't want the association of a devotee they don't respect them so so do bhikshu those who always want bhukti and mukti and uh, who, they always disrespect all the devotees they we those devotees they don't go at all they are not at all respected those devotees are not respected uh, this is a very far distant uh, thing they don't respect devotees to to make contact with them it is very much difficult we can't uh, take respect it's a very far distant thing but we don't want to have any connection with them also we should not have any connection with them also because why because those who are bhukti bhikshu and vimukshu those who always want bhukti mukti actually they are uh, they always have false ego inside their heart so that's why they will not uh, respect the devotees your devotees so just we need to leave all this kind of association and we just have to take up the pure guru vaishnav association sadhu sang that is very important essential gyan karmo so gyan karma ya to anya vilasi and anya vilasi whatever uh, the efforts they are just doing that is not at all the in the pathway of bhakti that is not the actual uh, pathway of bhakti anya vilasi mayavadi whatever they are just doing the efforts they are all actually against the uh, pathway of shuddha bhakti that is not in the way of shuddha bhakti that is not the, the pathway and the stairs to go to bhakti even the gyan vairagya actually it is not the stair 
स्टेयर केस टूवर्ड्स भक्ति इवन ज्ञान एंड वैराग्य आल्सो इज नॉट विदाउट भक्ति वॉट एवर मार्ग यू आर जस्ट टेकिंग दैट इज ऑल कॉल्ड असत मार्ग एंड टुमारो वी विल डेफिनेटली डिस्कस अबाउट दिस श्लोका we will discuss tomorrow so bhakti marg so bhakti marg is the top most mark that is the actual sadhu mark and we just need to just to make sure that we have to do anusaran and anugaman of this mark and that is called bhakti path pathway and just to have lot of utsaha for krishna bhakti to have get anxiety for krishna bhakti and to just get that serving attitude towards krishna to have instability in uh, to have some stability in krishna seva and in the and only to have for krishna seva directly or indirectly you have uh, all kind of uh, karma anushthan is there and uh, apart from krishna uh, just uh, any kind of connection you are just uh, leaving and just to take the uh, shelter of uh, the six kinds of shelter at the lotus feet of a pure vaishnav what i have already told these six kinds of that utsaha nischa these we have to take up षडभिक भक्ति प्रसिद्ध थी द भक्ति नो ठाकुर हैज इन द गीता हैज टोल्ड वेरी ब्यूटिफुली अबाउट दैट इन गीता कृष्ण एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग टू अर्जुन that all the devotees actually they don't have this kind of vichar no no one can have this kind of what vichar that whatever uh, yagya anushthan i have done what is the net outcome of that whatever i have just done lot of yagya bhandara this that so what is the actual outcome of that what is the actual outcome there must be some outcome no so what is the actual outcome to to that uh, to see that that is the uh, duty of a devotee a non devotee will not see that they will not see that but a devotee will always have this kind of vichar that bhakti vinod thakur actually has uh, done this vichar that at night time every time you just need to just think that what kind of uh, things and uh, kriya kram i have done whether i have done it in a right way or not whether it is just uh, good for uh, bhakti or it is against bhakti just need to think that and whatever i have done uh maybe our degree of consciousness is increasing or it's just dropping so just need to focus on that every night time we have to think like that but uh, the bonded jeevas always the, our math mandir is also like uh, this uh, material world only they are also like a particle now they are also they are just uh, becoming nirapeksha that is the biggest thing here it actually it is written that whosoever whatever you will do the most important thing they are all dravyamay action they all material thing is associated with that dravyamay means matter is associated with that whatever you are doing that is dravyamay yagya but whatever yagya you will be do that material is matter is associated with that everything is dravyamay yagya if you do archan that is also matter is involved if you are do, do make in the kitchen you are making bhoga that is called also dravyamay yagya mean matter is involved in that whatever you are giving bhandara to someone mean that is also you give cloth to someone that matter is involved in everything matter is involved everything is matter is involved in you are just giving any something to uh, giving a nice place to stay for all sadhu that is also matter is involved dravyamay yagya matter will definitely be there it is very essential but लेकिन श्रेयानुद्रव्य में यज्ञ 
that is different this ribbon my this is actually is very fine uh, it has a very fine form uh, apart from ribbon my yagya like like in the gita pravachan maybe there is no uh, external matter from outside some bhagavat pravachan is going on there is gyan uh, yagya that is called bhakti yagya but to speak whatever you are speaking about bhakti in bhagavad ji mahapuran that is called bhakti yagya it is not gyan yagya so shreyanu dabhya mai yagya so and whatever you are doing in this whole material world apart from this whenever you are you giving flowers fruits to krishna whatever you are doing that is matter is involved in that actually dabhya mai yagya but this dabhya mai yagya inside that there is a there is a power of swarup shakti inside that like in, in like avar jagai madhai they actually on them nityanand prabhu has gone done kripa on them and mahaprabhu also have done kripa on them so jagai madhai inside their heart the swarup shakti the uh, fire of swarup shakti is that uh, tej my fire has just gone inside the heart of the jagai madhai and whatever the sinful activities they have done whatever everything is just burned up uh, burned up by that fire of swarup shakti but uh, and mahaprabhu has just uh, 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 taken them in his own lap they will they haven't gone to jagai madai have just uh, got the kripa of swarup shakti vritti from uh, krishna and whatever sinful activities they have done previously everything just got burned up by that swarup shakti power and their jagai madai their indriya gram whatever sense organs they just got the influence of the bhakti on them and they just got that positive mood inside their heart and then they are now going in uh, the serving attitude of krishna they have that serving attitude now so a big vaishna if someone is there if he is giving some bhog offering to krishna we have just uh, taken some rice dal something uh, vegetables from outside and whatever we are just cooking that is called dravya yagya but if a bhakti man purush some very big devotee large big shuddha devotee of krishna is actually offering bhoga to krishna then that by the touch of that bhakti actually that will become in the fine form it is actually all this rice dal vegetable how it will become a prakrit how it can become that like that we have just uh, taken it from the market outside maybe from the black money we have not taken it okay but we are after doing the kitchen and if a very bhaktiman vaishnav who is a big vaishnav actually by the touch of his bhakti he will actually just uh, offer this to the krishna and krishna will definitely will uh, take that and uh, after when he offering to that uh, krishna that is also bhakti and he is a big vaishnav and krishna is bound to take that uh, offering from that big vaishnav so when krishna will just take that then that prasadam will become chinmay and before actually externally it was dravya mai yagya but now with the touch of that bhakti what will happen it has become bhakti mai yagya now it is not dravya mai so whatever what the shlok i have already bhakti mai thakur has uh, just done this kind of, this also has a meaning i have just telling to told you about uh, relation relation with this bhakti but this also have some meaning those everything in this whole material world is dravya mai yagya but of bhagwan shri krishna speaking that actually arjun that dravya mai yagya gyan gyan yagya is far better why because gyan yagya this is very fine form gyan yagya and that is very uh, externally fat that uh, dravya mai yagya that with uh, nothing is more fine than gyan gyan is very light and very small and that is the topmost thing in this material world and when our gyan just comes in a pure form then that becomes bhakti when our gyan becomes at the last stage that is called bhakti before that whatever gyan we are just mayavadi gyan must we don't uh, i'm just not speaking about that but bhakti mai yagya what i'm telling but by doing dravya mai yagya it is better that if you can do gyan mai yagya that is very fine form because it is very fine because whatever 
वॉट एवर यज्ञ यू आर डूइंग वॉट एवर यज्ञ मे बी द्रव्य में यज्ञ यू आर डूइंग और वॉट एवर कर्म अर्पण और वॉट एवर मैटर यू आर जस्ट ऑफरिंग टू कृष्णा वॉट एवर यू आर डूइंग वॉट एवर यू विल डू बट दैट इज अ फाइनल पॉइंट दैट ऑल दिस बाय फॉलोइंग ऑल दिस प्रोसीडियर वॉट डू यू मीन टू गेट वॉट यू विल गेट एक्चुअली दैट यू आर डूइंग डोनेशन वॉट एवर यू आर डूइंग दैट जब मैं अगर बट एट लास्ट वॉट यू विल गेट आउट ऑफ दैट फाइनली वॉट यू वॉन्ट बिकॉज वॉट एवर वी आर एक्चुअली डूइंग इन आवर लाइफ इफ इन द फाइन फॉर्म इट कम्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ज्ञान इट विल नॉट जस्ट गेट इन साइड अवर हार्ट देन एवरीथिंग इज यूजलेस बिकॉज डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स एंड अरेंजमेंट्स वॉट वी आर डूइंग द आउटकम एक्चुअली द Uh, that if it will not come in the fine form gyan form then it is useless but it should come in the fine form in the form of gyan like we are doing a big bhandara okay we are doing a bhandara there are lot of uh, crying and everything is going on but what is the actual net outcome in that maybe we have just attended that bhandara we have just taken that uh, bhandara we are just get prasadam okay we just are thinking that there is prasadam but what is the ultimate outcome out of that maybe our my that consciousness has increased or just dropped what is the outcome in fine form what is the result if i am not getting that result then everything is useless whatever i have done what is the maybe my consciousness my gyan is increasing or not my bhakti is increasing or not my bhakti is getting maturity or not if it is not getting maturity then everything is useless whole bhandara from top to bottom will all become material and there was no spiritual man and those pravachan that is also false pravachan whatever two to four kirtan we have done nothing is there that's it everything just taking uh, in the name of prasadam you are taking prasadam so what is the net outcome so that's why that's why our all our pure guru vaishnav paramhans mahapurush like vaman goswami maharaj and uh, भक्ति प्रभाग प्रज्ञान केशव गोस्वामी महाराज एक्सेट्रा ऑल एक्चुअली वेन दे वर देयर इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड भक्ति प्रमोद पुरी गोस्वामी महाराज माधव गोस्वामी महाराज वेन दे वर देयर इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड ऑल दिस महापुरुष एट दैट टाइम वॉट उत्सव दे यूज टू डू दे हैव दैट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ अनंत फॉर दैट उत्सव वॉट दे यूज टू डू द भंडारा यू जस्ट बी केयरफुल इफ यू हैव द सम प्रेजुडिसिकल कंसेप्शन as some biasness then you will not understand this point but when but with my own feeling i am just practically when i have just done parikrama for with shila bhakti bolo titu there was a different kind of anand what i was getting what is the reason behind that you have to find out that that i have to do parikrama it doesn't mean that you have to just going 25 to 30 kilometers bare feet and you just after that you are taking nimbu pani <laughs> what you get after parikrama maybe you are getting tiredness you are just getting tiredness you have done parikrama okay you are just getting a, a tiredness and you are just taking some um, nice ice cream and uh, some milk and malai and some green coconut that's it you but at that time what happened at the time of prabhupad and uh, uh, after that also pre param puja ba keshav goswami maharaj and bhakti pram puri goswami maharaj they at that time they have madhav goswami maharaj they have that different kind of anand why because they are actually spiritually energized they have do so much of power inside them that whosoever actually come in front of them whatever jeeva whosoever whatever they used to hear and whatever whatever the prasadam they used to take actually they externally there is no external there is very less vitamin mineral it has vitamin mineral that i am actually not uh, discussing but i don't know what kind of ex- uh, power is there some something is there in that some vitamin what kind of you know vitamin mineral i don't have this kind of vichar but the actual vichar is that what is the actual uh, reason behind that what is the actual secret why we are getting so much anand why actually we were just uh, so much utsah inside our heart why because they were gigantic spiritual figures they are very gigantic spiritual figures they are full of bhakti inside their heart they are actually eternal parshad of bhagwan so uh, just by taking this in our point in our mind that whatever uh, yagya we are doing we are taking uh, prasadam or we are doing any math and just doing satsang 
एसोसिएशन जस्ट बी केयरफुल अबाउट दिस पॉइंट दैट इफ यू विल जस्ट फॉरगेट दिस पॉइंट डेफिनेटली यू विल बिकम फुलिश इफ यू विल जस्ट जस्ट फॉरगेट दिस पॉइंट वट आई टोल्ड दैन यू विल डेफिनेटली बिकम फुलिश एंड यू विल जस्ट रिमेन फुलिश होल लाइफ आई एम नॉट स्पीकिंग दैट यू जस्ट डिसरिस्पेक्ट साधु एसोसिएशन यू जस्ट आई नीड टू रिस्पेक्ट ऑल द साधु बट एक्चुअली इफ ही इज अ साधु देन यू हैव टू रिस्पेक्ट हिम एंड यू हैव टू सी वेदर दैट साधु ही हैज जस्ट गोइंग टू दैट स्टेज ऑफ हिज एट दैट स्टेज देन ओनली यू हैव टू रिस्पेक्ट दैट रूप गोस्वाई पाद हैज ऑलरेडी स्पीकिंग उपदेश अमृत एंड प्रभुपाद ऑल्सो हैव टोल्ड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम अबाउट दिस विचार and has just given us in front of us and always used to give us in front of us this kind of vichar so so very carefully we just need to understand this vichar because this will not get inside our mind because we just now we have heard this we will forget now what kind of vichar speaking but this vichar is very very important that's why all our guru var bhakti mno thakur prabhupad actually they have just given this summarized uh, tika tipani on that so bhakti marg that bhakti marg is that uh, sadhu vritti that is the topmost thing before one hour also i was speaking like this only that the sadhu vritti what i am speaking that acharan what i am speaking that actually is indicating bhakti only so so this bhakti marg actually the in the pathway of bhakti whatever uh, arrangements and uh, efforts you are doing whatever kriya the efforts you are doing that is called bhakti vritti and uh, this bhakti marg in the pathway of bhakti all those devotees just to take their association don't do anukaran of them just to do anusaran just uh, have to follow their uh, acharan that krishna actually have told this but krishna actually doing ras that this kind of tark question is coming is that then everything will get destroyed so that's why sukhdev go swami told that see whatever they are saying actually speaking you have to do that because uh, when they are speaking uh, and they are doing they have some kind of symmetry this sadhu what the bhagwan raslila the topmost acharan there is uh, and the raslila bhagwan is non different he is actually just dancing with the ladies it is not like that this is not at all it is actually dif- non different from uh, krishna but actually it is out of our material mind because we can't uh, understand that if we will understand it then we will understand in a different manner so so whatever uh, whatever they are doing okay they are doing because they are powerful and bhagwan actually can't do anything reverse negative whatever ras leela introductory speech i have done a lot by the krip of krishna i have in english i have just spoken this at introductory speech if you will just hear that then definitely the ghost of our mind will just get off then you cannot think krishna is my computer ye aap samjhoge nahi and you can't think like this ghost from the mind will definitely get off so be very careful about that and very attentive and sukhdev go swami pad always used to speak this buddhiman sa samaj so whatever i have whatever whatever as the sadhu guru vishnu speaking you have to do but you can't understand that you will just speak uh, understand opposite so what krishna actually speaking you don't imitate him that is actually totally prohibited so so the vichar in the vichar it comes that in the pathway of bhakti this pathway of bhakti that is called sadhu vritti this sad bhakti marg is actually sadhu vritti and in in the, in the bhakti marg all sadhu sant mahatma every topmost vaishnavas are are all there we just need to do anukaran not we have to do anukaman not to imitate them we should have utsah in krishna bhakti from internally and externally both all the time if we have utsah the utsah is just like a priti there is some agraha in that utsaha if there is no priti then in the in the rajya of bhakti what rup go swami has told there will be no connection with that so utsaha what i have already told uh, that uh, that seva about about seva that what we are doing this bhakti this seva towards krishna we will definitely get mangal in that and and krishna seva instability in krishna seva whether we will get something or not our time actually is going why we are just destroying our time 
in krishna bhakti that is called dhairya just to be patient and what is actually uh, good for krishna seva and just to do for krishna seva that is tat tat anushthan that a big big anushthan i have done a big bhandara anushthan and it has no connection with krishna seva in krishna bhakti i have done a big bhandara but there is no connection with krishna seva then nothing will happen it is just like equal to karam kandi bhandara i have already told it i will not attend at all why because their udeshya their uh, uh, instruction is different but just to take the krishna udeshya and just doing all the kind of different kind of anushthan that is a different point and whatever uh, apart from this that tat tat anushthan is there which has no connection with seva i don't have any relationship with that anushthan at all to just leave krishna bhakta without that i will not do any association with anyone to do the association of devotees and whatever association i have to do uh, we just have to leave that association we have to do parivarjan varjan not that's parivarjan parivarjan means we have to leave that and we just need to do anusaran of uh, uh, krishna but we don't have to imitate that the what guru vaishnav actually in bengali it is written anukaran kari don't imitate in jagannath das baba ji maharaj speak if you will do anukaran of guru vaishnav then definitely you will um, get uh, fired up in the fire you will get burned up in fire so this kind of six kind of uh, i am just discussing from last two days so these if you will just uh, understand what rup goswami pad has told and he has uh, written this so in this we will just get uh, the maturity in bhakti it will maturity will increase in bhakti will not drop and we will definitely uh, discuss about the next shlok that how what are the actual nourishment for bhakti so we will discuss it tomorrow and just by discussing it i will just be just stopping this pravachan today here etavane bolaki asmin पुंसाम धर्म पर श्रुत भक्ति योग भगवती तन्याम गौणादिवी वाचकल्पतुर्ष के पास पतितान पावन भो वैष्णव्यो नमो नमः